Hi, Charlie Kosorek, Jack Bench Woodworking, and today I am on location in Santa Rosa, California with Peter Brown. Hey, Charlie. Hi, Peter. Nice thank, to meet you. Thank you so much for having me over and inviting me to your place here. I am honored and happy to be here. I'm, I'm really glad to have you here. Yeah. Well, welcome to my shop. It's a, well, you have well, a nice little shop here. Woodworking is not necessarily my primary focus. I know that. So I know you, you, you are. You might be a little surprised at the materials that get used well, out here. Well, I, you know, obviously I've seen some of your videos and I like them. I mean, you're very entertaining. It's a lot of fun. You're kind of, uh, you do a good job. You he's do a, a very he's good He's a strange job. guy. Well, yeah, <laughs> he is a strange guy, and that's why I really wanted to meet him. <laughs> so, so Peter, you and I, you know, we just we went out, we had lunch a few minutes ago, and, and we talked things over a little bit, and you've got uh, an interesting perspective on YouTube's and YouTube videos and making videos, and and you have a background that leads and lends whichever the right word to be to that perspective, and. You know, you want to tell us more about that? Yeah, sure. So I got into woodworking, probably like most people did, which is I had a need in my house to make something. Yes. Um, and we went looking for furniture, mm -hmm. and my wife said, I need it to be, you know, a bookcase that's this big and so wide. Right. And I went, I've got power tools in the garage yeah. that have never been used, so why don't I make something out sure. of it? Sure. And I made this horrific bookcase uh -huh. that was blotchy and butt joints and out of square but it fit and it was my baby and it was so exciting to be able to make something and it was nothing. fun it was really fun right. i really enjoyed it and some satisfaction there. yeah and yeah. so i started making other things i made cabinets for our house i made uh, furniture for different parts of the house mm -hmm. and one day i got a free lathe off craigslist okay and Very that's cool. when all productivity in the shop sunk. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everything on the honey-do list went to pot, yeah. and I started turning. And wood turning is so much fun. Um, but I wanted it to pay. So I didn't want to spend money in the shop that wasn't made in the shop. Right, right. Okay. So I started making things to sell. Right. Pens and bottle stoppers and bowls and boxes. Okay, great. You know, anything I could make and sell. Mm -hmm. And then it became less about making things and more about selling things. Okay. And I got pretty good at selling things. Yeah. And I was in lots of local shops, I was selling online, and I was making a decent hobby out of it. Mm -hmm. And in fact, pretty much every tool in this shop was paid for by selling pens and bottle stoppers okay. in local shops. All right. Great. I hated it. Well, not great. I hated it. I hated it. Because every time I went out to the workshop, this place that used to be a blast to be in, uh -huh. I had an order to fill. Mm -hmm. And I had to do it. You know, I had to make 20 bracelets to sell for next week. Okay. And if one broke, I came back in the house and I was miserable. You know, and it just, it ruined it. It stole my joy. So it wasn't fun anymore. It wasn't fun anymore. Okay. So what was the point of a shop that was built on enjoyment turned into a business that made money that I hated doing. Okay. So I stopped it. You just... I just stopped. I just stopped making stuff. Okay. I stopped coming out to the wood shop. Completely? Completely. Well, I completely burned out. Completely burned out. I would, I would make little things that I had to. You know, I'd cut a panel for, you know, something that was broken in the house mm -hmm. or, you know, something small. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't ever make anything that I wanted to make. Okay. And uh, I started watching videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I started watching this guy, uh, Jimmy DeResta. Sure. Yeah. Great and channel. He's crazy. Jimmy DeResta <laughs> is certifiably crazy. And he just makes whatever he wants. Yeah. And he does it in a way that nobody else does. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that looks like fun. Okay. And so on my birthday in 2013, I came out to the shop mm -hmm. and I decided to make a video. Okay. And I did it in the same style as him. It's a Jimmy DeResta style video. Okay. And I made this little table and it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. I had a blast. And I just never looked back. Huh. I just want to enjoy myself. So, okay, that leads me to a question then. 
as far as YouTube in general, and I mean, you've got a great channel, and it's, you know, it's uh, taken off very successful with it. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank you and you, you deserve it because it, it, it is good. Um, but why do you think it's good? And what would you re suggest to other people out there saying, well, I want to do that? I, you know what? The reason I think that people watch my channel mm -hmm. is because. The, I'm doing things that other people aren't. I think okay. that's really the it's only the, reason. You, get the, you, you think it's because the content is different or the, the, the turning the crayons and turning the pencils is different? I'm doing what I want. Okay. And I'm not doing what doesn't make me happy. Mm -hmm. And I think that comes across in the video. Okay. But what makes me happy is doing weird stuff. Uh huh. So I think people enjoy that. So 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 then it helps if you like weird stuff. I guess it does. <laughs> I guess it does. I, I just you know I saw this um, pin on Pinterest and it was this colored pencil ring uh -huh. and there was nothing. There was no content to it. Uh -huh. It was just a ring. They didn't show how it was made. They didn't show where they sold them. There was nothing. Nothing about the process. Uh -huh. I looked at that and went, I want a colored pencil ring. Okay. How do I make one? And there was no background. I didn't look it up. I didn't try to research it. Right. I just came out in the shop and did, I don't know what you would call it, um, prototyping. Mm -hmm. Rapid prototyping. Okay. How would I do this? Yeah. And it worked. For one. For one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. That's all I wanted to make. I did see that video. That's all I wanted yeah. to make was one. Uh huh. And because. I don't want to be a production shop again. Mm -hmm. You know, and I had a lot of people that wanted to buy those. Uh huh. I mean, I had a thousand orders for colored pencil rings. You're kidding. A thousand orders. And I've never made another one. Wow. Because I don't want to go there again. You know? Uh huh. I don't want to be miserable making things for other people. Uh huh. I want to enjoy my time in the shop making things for fun. Uh huh. And people enjoy watching that, all the better. So I'm going to go out on a limb okay. and, think, and say that I think part of the reason you're so successful is because it's genuine. What you're doing, people see you in there, you're, you are having fun, and you know, it's goofy, <laughs> but, but it's, it's genuine. Right. It's genuine, it's sincere, and I think somehow, some way, that comes through. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, and, I, and I, I, I think that's part of it. And in addition, no, nobody else that I know of is turning crayons on the lathe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And or and, salt in the shop, right? Or salt in the shop. Oh my yeah. gosh, that was a huge mistake. So uh, I think I think it's a com I don't I think it's a combination. There are people doing weird things out there who right. other people aren't interested in watching. Right. So I think it's not just that. I think it's partly it's you your, uh, you know, your persona, and, and it's being genuine. I think there's something to that. Well, I think I, I think I could see that. Okay. Yeah, and you know, I, I do have woodworking skills, mm -hmm. and I am a decent wood turner. Mm -hmm. But I don't highlight that. Uh -huh. You know, I don't showcase that. I don't make bowls on my channel uh -huh. because I've made bowls before. Right. You know, and I don't make cabinetry on my channel. Because I've made cabinetry before, uh -huh. and now I just want to make something that nobody's seen. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any any changes in mind? You're going to just kind of just come out here every week and come up with whatever goofy thing you can think of. I have a list. <laughs> you and, do. You know, it's it's right now. It's about <clears throat> 50 items long. Yeah. And not all of them work. I came out one week, and I had five things on uh -huh. my list. I was like, this is going to be great. The first one failed. I was like, no big deal. I got four more. Second one, third one. I was like, okay. I'm getting aggravated, now, but I've still got two more crazy ideas. Yeah. And then the last two failed, and I just closed up the shop and went inside. So, but how can, how can an idea fail for you if, I mean, you, you don't hide your mistakes. You right. come out, you try some of it doesn't work. Well, that right. didn't work, and that's your video. So, yeah. how, I mean, how bad does it have to fail for you to say it's not even worth it? I, yeah, I want to be able to present an item. Uh-huh. You know, whether or not that item is perfect oh, I is see. one thing, but right. I want to be able to present an item. Okay, and it didn't even get to... Yeah. So ideas, that's a, an interesting point. Ideas matter to me. Mm -hmm. And all ideas are worth exploring, mm -hmm. even if they aren't feasible. Okay. You know? Yeah. Because, like your friend Andy Klein. Yeah. Love his channel. Right. He's got ideas up 
No, let's not say He's that. got a lot of ideas. He's got a lot of ideas. A lot ideas. of really good ideas. Not every idea he has is going to work. Right. That doesn't mean the process of exploring those isn't worth his time. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with just making silly things in my shop. Uh -huh. That's a fulfillment for me is I want to, you know, fall asleep, dream about this, you know, block of salt becoming mm -hmm. something physical in my hand, jewelry. Uh -huh. Why don't I try that? You know, I don't know if it's going to work mm -hmm. and it might not. You know, but okay. Some ideas are worth exploring, right. even if they fail. So basically, though, we still have plenty of cool, fun, and goofy things to look forward to from Peter Brown. I, I think so. Well, outstanding. I can't imagine. Good yeah. because people, I think people look forward to. I know for a fact people are, lo are looking forward to it. You know, I've talked to people even along my way. Some of the people I've interviewed says, "I never miss a Peter Brown video." <laughs> it's it, honestly, honestly true. Okay. Honestly true. And, uh, well, good for you. Well, thank you, Chuck. Well, you know, this has been a lot of fun. I'm really glad I got to talk to you and you got to talk a little bit about this. Um, I guess before I got, is there any suggestions you would have for somebody else out there trying to start out? Yeah. Um, I would say what most people say. Okay. Which is, don't worry about it being perfect. Uh-huh. Just explore and try it. Mm-hmm. You know? Now, in a shop environment, you need to understand basic safety. Of course. Anybody who runs a table saw for the first time should not just go off a YouTube video and start doing right. that. They should, they should be able to you know, do right. things safely in a right. wood shop. Likewise with a lathe. With or... a lathe or anything else. Yes. These are all dangerous tools, mm -hmm. and we have all spent our time learning how to use them. Right. And just because we're on YouTube doesn't mean that that background doesn't exist. Right. But... You know, go out there and try it. Uh -huh. Go out there and make it. Okay. And whatever your medium is, be it paper craft or, you know, doing uh, jewelry or woodworking mm -hmm. or resin, yes. whatever the medium is, just go out there and try okay. it. So you heard it here first. Peter Brown says, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> not original, but true. <laughs> but not original, but that's what he says. And I believe him. <laughs> well, Peter, thanks a million. Thank you, Charlie. This has been a lot of fun. It's very nice to um, meet you. Yeah, very, very nice to meet you. Um, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe to Jack Bench. Uh, like I say, you'd be doing me a favor and check out Peter's channel and uh, subscribe to his stuff because he's got some really fun stuff to watch. And one last bit is uh, we're going to do another video here, a little walk around, uh, look at some of uh, Peter's past projects. And uh, he said he might let me turn a crayon on the lathe. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thanks a lot.